I would like to uh, walk you through the uh, Lord's Prayer with some yogic movement attached to them. Uh, this could be done and should be done actually uh, very slowly and prayerfully. I'm going to talk a little bit with each of the poses as to why I chose that and where I see the meaningfulness of it uh, with regards to uh, the language of the prayer and the posture. So we begin by getting ourselves set in Tadasana, which is mountain pose. And of course, uh, we are got to be well familiar with, you know, God is our mountain, our rock. And so we have to uh, imagine ourselves being grounded in the divine, grounded in the creator, in our God. And this is a, um, a rock of refuge, if you will. And so I am grounded in that. My legs are about uh, shoulder width apart. Um, and I am uh, planting both my heel and the balls of my feet kind of pressed well into the ground. Good, what we call neutral spine, uh, which would be uh, a posture here, not too stretched out this way, not overemphasizing the arch of the back, just a neutral, but not allowing ourselves to be hunched over either. We're a good strong mountain. We're proud. This is a good proud mountain here. So we start with that, and then we'll move to what is called uh, the prayer position, or um, in the Sanskrit, namaste. And namaste means that um, the divine in me, and I am an image and likeness of God. I'm creating an image and likeness of God. And the divine in me recognizes the divine in you. And that you, for me, is all of God's creation. So I pray either with others or in God's creation. <clears throat> I'm recognizing the presence of God there as the presence of God is here. So the presence of God in me recognizes that in you. So again, we start here in um, Tadasana and Mountain Pose. Our Father. And then we'll move to Temple who art in heaven. Raise our hands straight up. And they could be apart. <clears throat> and again, trying to maintain a good, strong posture all the way through from the top of my head all the way down to my heels. And we can bring our hands together from this extended mountain pose into temple. we we'll put the hands together. You could close your fingers if you'd like and point straight up. And then imagine that someone is grabbing those two fingers and just stretching you up. Our Father who art in heaven. And then relax that and then let the arms drift back down. Hallowed be thy name. And hallowed means holy. Holy is thy name. And so I come back to that again. The God in me recognizes the God all around me and you. Hallowed be thy name. And we will move to the first of the warrior pose. We let the right leg drift back. It's a straight line. Knee comes forward, and then we will twist to our right and look with our right arm. We come start here, let our right arm then circle back. Look over that right shoulder. Thy kingdom come. So we're saying here in that prayer, thy kingdom come. This is the, the kingdom of God is at hand, uh, Jesus said. We want to make the kingdom present everywhere. So I'm looking behind me, beside me, and forward. We rotate back. Bring the foot forward, drop the left leg back, so to stretch the other side, and re-rotate again. Thy will be done. Okay, the left foot slightly uh, angled out, the front foot is pointing straight away. Thy will be done. Again, we want God's will to be done behind me, beside me, and in front of me. Bring it back. Now this time, instead of bringing this leg forward, we just straighten it out and drop the hands beside the foot here. Thy will be done. And we're going to go into a plank pose, which is actually part of the sun salutation. Thy will be done. All right, now I'm in a plank, which is kind of a push-up position. Good straight back all the way through. Feet are, your toes are curled under. And now we'll drop our knees to the ground. Then my chest and chin. The butt kind of remains up in the air. Thy will be done on earth, so I'm touching the earth. Now let your toes at the top of your feet touch the ground. Release the toes and lift into what is known as the cobra on earth as it is in heaven. And I look to the heavens as I arch through cobra.
And now from that, I can shift back into the table position because the next line in the prayer is, um, give us this day our daily bread. So I move to the table where we take in bread, where we sit around the table to share bread. And sometimes if you have animals in your house, when you sit down at the table, they're going to come to the table wanting some too. So this is an appropriate time to reflect on this passage, give us this day our daily bread by going into what is known as the cat and the dog pose. The cat pose, first of all, is to allow the palms of your hand to kind of press into the ground. You might splay the fingers a little bit here. And we're going to arch our back upward. And to help arch that back, drop the chin towards the neck or the chest and arch the back. And then we go into dog, sometimes called cow. We drop the belly, the bottom, your butt comes up in the air as you drop the belly and raise your head and look upwards. And just for the sake of the exercise of it, you can kind of go through a rotation of that a couple of times. The navel goes up, the back arches as you drop the chin to the chest, and then we rotate back up into the dog. Our daily bread. And then the next line is, and forgive us our trespasses. We seek forgiveness. To seek forgiveness is an act of humility. So we go into what is known as the child's pose or the extended child's pose. So let your bottom fall back towards your heels. Extend your arms forward and allow your head to come down and touch the ground in a, in a uh, posture of humility. So your chin is sort of between your knees, your forehead on the ground. Forgive us our trespasses. And then is the wonderful line, but only as we forgive those who trespass against us. Of course, this is the difficult part to move forward here is that when we forgive others, there is a sense of vulnerability involved in that because I am releasing them uh, from perhaps the guilt and the, the anguish, the anxiety that they feel. And we also then are saying, it's okay, I forgive you. So when we come back on this, we will extend up and we'll give now, we're going to open up the chest. So place your hands behind you at your feet. You can have the fingers pointing forward or back. Proper way is probably with the fingers uh, pointing forward to the front. And then open up the chest. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And when you come down, we're going to just slide our feet now out in front of us. And we're going to do a spinal twist. Here we are in staff pose. And we're going to lift up the right leg over the left knee. Take the left arm and put it on the other side of that right knee. Take your right arm and place it behind you as close as you can to your back, trying to keep a good straight spine as much as possible here, and then look over the shoulder. Deliver us from all evil. We do not want, e or deliver us from, all tem from temptation. We don't want temptation in our life. So we're twisting it out. It's like this is uh, sometimes described as twisting a rag. So if you're squeezing out the water out of a rag, that's what you're doing to your body here, and you're squeezing out temptation. We want to do that to the other side, so we relax that. Lift the left leg now over the right. Bring the right arm on the opposite side of that knee. Place the left arm behind you, and look over the shoulder. When you do this, you can also put a little pressure. This will help stretch this um, IT band. And deliver us from all evil. And now we can come forward, bring your feet together. They'll help you just to roll forward very easily. <clears throat> For the kingdom. And now we'll go into downward facing dog. Okay, for the kingdom. So in a sense, I kind of see this as the temple of the kingdom being built for the kingdom. All right, we're beginning to build it. And it starts at the earth. We work from the bottom up. It's a grassroots action. It's not something of the institution necessarily. It's something that we are building from the grassroots up for the kingdom. Then inch your hands towards your toes, the power, and then slowly come up. But as you come up, think about your vertebrae stacking one on top of the other. Don't bring it up. You're going to move from the hips for the kingdom, and we're just slowly coming up. The power... 
and the glory are yours. And then bring the arms up again, back to temple, and then to give yourself a little bit of a rotation to the side. Now and forever. And the arms come back down and around to namaste. Amen. Now, if your body does not allow you to do it that way, there is also a, a version that one can do seated. Again, uh, to maintain a good posture, I would suggest that you move towards the uh, more the edge. It doesn't have to be the edge. That wouldn't be good. But uh, get away from the back so that we're not kind of sitting slouched here. We want to get a good posture here. Feet, as in Tadasana, as in a mountain pose, we want ourselves to be well uh, positioned. So we begin here. Once again, with the Our Father, we begin in our Namaste pose, Our Father, and we can come back up, who art in heaven. And again, we can clasp the hands, point the fingers, and feel that stretch, movement lengthening the spine, reaching up. Lengthening the spine and the sits bones, the tail bones, right on up through the neck and to the top of the head. Hallowed be thy name. And bring the hands back down around. So we went into warrior pose there before. We can do, we can do this uh, very simply in our chair. Bring our hands up now. Thy kingdom come. Rotate the body, giving it a little bit of a twist. Look over the shoulder. Thy kingdom come. Back around, and the other way, thy will be done. Again, we want the kingdom and the will of God to be done behind, beside, and in front of us, all around us. So we want this will and kingdom of God to be done all around us on earth. Now, if you're unable to reach all the way down, you might just be able to bend here at the hips. Just allow yourself to bend at the hips, not slouching down, Try to bend at the hips. Thy kingdom come on earth. If this is all the further I can get, that's fine. Also, if I have a heart condition, I have high blood pressure, it's really best to not get your heart lower than your legs. So if that is the case, then you may want to just stop here. If you do not have any heart problems and your body is able to do it, but you're not able to stand, then drop your hands and see if you can just stretch things out a little bit more this way. On earth... And then make it simple. Bring your right elbow to your right knee, your left elbow to your left knee, and slowly bring it back up on earth as it is in heaven. And once again, we can now stretch it back just a little bit. Bring it back forward and straight. Lower the head. Drop the arms. Give us this day our daily bread. So now we're going to Imagine that we're receiving the bread from all around us. The gift of our sustenance is all around us. And we bring it to ourselves, back into a sort of prayerful motion, but then twist it towards our mouth. And of course, as Jesus said, one cannot live on bread alone, but on the words that come from God. So it's appropriate that we should receive this bread and then bring it also into prayer. And we receive those words. Our daily bread. And now we're back to forgiveness. Forgive us our trespasses. So we did the cat and the dog pose on that one. We went to a table and the cat and the dog. Um, well, the way that we can do this seated, take your hands, place your palms on your thighs with your fingers on the inside of your thighs. Thumbs pointing back. And we're going to let our... Uh, we go into the cat pose, so we're going to drop our chin towards our chest. And then when we go to the um, to flexion the other way, the dog position, then let your hands point forward and arch your, open up the chest this way. Well, forgive us our trespasses. We ask forgiveness, bow in humility as we forgive those and we accept the vulnerability of our forgiving. We forgive those who trespass against us. And you can kind of rotate through that a couple of times as is comfortable and necessary for yourself. And lead us not into temptation. So we did the spinal twist sitting on the ground. Here you can just keep it 
simple by twisting this way, but a better way, if you can, take your right leg, put it over the left, and then take that left, uh, take the left uh, hand, place it outside the right knee, and then with your right hand behind the chair and using that chair for a little bit of uh, extra pressure, uh, press on that and look over your shoulder. Feel a good spinal twist through here. So that is, lead us not into temptation. Then we go to the other side. Again, right hand on opposite side of the knee and the left knee, and look back over the shoulder. And deliver us from all evil. Now, in our end, this doxology, we can do two different things. For the kingdom, again, the kingdom can be here. We're starting with grassroots development of it on earth. So we could come back down this way for the kingdom and slowly come up again. The power and the glory are yours. And then we can go to the side now and forever and back to namaste, amen. Or if you can, this would be a chance So after you get done with the uh, deliver us from all evil, then you could stand up, move to the back of the chair for support and um, stability, and allow yourself, get back away. Maybe I'll slide this way with this. Uh, you're about, oh, not quite full arm's length away from the chair. And allow it to support you and then bend at the hips for the kingdom. And then you just bow down. So if you were seeing God as the king, all right, so with the kingdom, we bow down before the king. So the kingdom... And let's build that kingdom. Now, if you can, this would also, if you don't need to hold on to that, this would also be a chance for you to give further stretch to the backside of your legs. And you can you know, just slide down your legs here to the inside of your ankles, to your feet. If you can touch the ground, that's wonderful. If not, you know, maybe this is as far down as you can get for the kingdom. And then slowly stack the vertebrae again. The power. Head's going to be the last thing that comes up. And the glory, and we rise our, raise our hands up. And we'll again, now we can make that shift of the, the, uh, to the both sides. Now and forever. Amen. And then back to Namaste. You can do this with any alterations that you want. There's certainly no, this is just, uh, ways that I've applied some yogic moves to the Lord's Prayer. Uh, one could certainly do what, uh, maybe, you know, alter uh, what you are able to do, do. And if you can't do that, find another kind of position that maybe uh, supports the idea of the prayer just as well for you. Blessings.